let's have this problem. Locate the centroid of the homogeneous wire shown. As you can see, this is a composite figure. So we have this line here, 5 meter, 6 meter, and then we have that segment of an arc, and then 4 meter. So we can represent each of these lines, okay, like L1, so for 5 meter line, L1, this is L2, and then this segment of an arc as L3, and then this is L4. So, recall the formula for the centroid of a line. So, the total line is actually equals to L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4. So, that's the total length of the line. And with that formula for centroid of a line, we have that Lx bar is equals to summation of Lx. And then Ly bar equals to summation of Ly. So let us tabulate all the data here. So we have this length of the lines. So we have that for L1, the line L1 is 5 meter. And then line 2 is equals to 6 meter. And then for this segment of the line, so we have this quarter of the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of the circle is equals to 2 pi r. So one fourth of 2 pi r is actually one fourth, uh, one half of pi r. So we have the, if we have this circle here, so this is that portion of the segment of the uh, circumference. Okay, so we have that circumference is equals to 2 pi r. While this portion here, this is the one that we, we have it here. Okay. So we have here one-fourth of the circumference or 2 pi r. So the result is one-half of pi r. So substituting the radius for meter in this, so we get line 3 as equals to 6.283. And then we have for line 4 equals to 4 meter. And then we get the total line using the formula. We have L1, L plus L2 plus L3 plus L4. The total line would be 21, total length of the line, 21.283. Now let us help the x distances no, of the centroid of each of these lines with respect to the y axis. So we have here x distances of each of these, the centroid of these lines with respect to the y-axis. So starting with L1, okay, so we know that the centroid of this is at this point. So if we are to get this dimension here, say for example, this is your x and then this is your y. So to get this uh, x distance, we make use of the cosine function. So we have cosine 20 degrees, so that is cosine 20 degrees is equals to uh, adjacent, which is x, over hypotenuse. So x is equals to 5 cosine 20 degrees. So this is that distance, x. So, but we need only this portion or only this distance here from the y-axis. That is from the centroid of the line. So, we divide this into 2. So, that is x over 2. Okay, so we get now that value of negative 2.349. So, if we evaluate this one and then divide it by 2, we get negative 2.349. Okay, why negative? Why negative? Because it is to the left of the y-axis. Okay? So it is to the left. That's why I put it negative. Okay? So this is negative 2.349. Okay? Next, we determine the distance of the centroid of the 6-meter line. So this is the centroid of the 6-meter line. 
So as you can see, the centroid of the 6 meter line coincides with the y axis. So therefore, the distance x is 0. Next, we have the centroid of the segment of an arc. So the centroid is somewhere here. Okay, so the location of the centroid. Okay, let us consider this quarter of a circumference. So this is the segment of an arc. So this is the centroid, and that distance is equals to, okay, 2r over pi. And then this is also 2r over pi. So we need this distance here from the centroid with respect to the y-axis. And the one given here is this portion. So that is equals now to 4 minus 2r over pi. So if we substitute r, uh, 4 meter for r, and then we subtract that with 4 meter, we get this distance. Okay, so what we get here for L3, the x distance would be 1.454. And then for L4, the centroid is at this point, the center of the line. So that distance from the y-axis would be 4 meter plus half of 4. So that is equals to 6 meter. So next, we have the product of Lx. So we just have to multiply. So this is negative 11.745. This is 0. Next, we have 9.136. And then we have 24. And then the total of this, we have 21.391. Okay, next we get now the y distances of the centroid of each of these lines with respect to this time the x-axis. Okay, so starting with line 1. This distance y, okay, is from sine. Okay, so we have that sine 20 degrees is equals to opposite over hypotenuse. That, that would be y over 5. So y is equals to 5 sine 20 degrees. Okay, but what we need is only half of this distance y. Because that centroid is just half of this y. So we have that y over 2. And that is equals to, if we evaluate this one, divided by 2, we get the value of 0 0.855. Okay, next we have the distance of L2, centroid of L2, with respect to the X. So this is actually 3 meters. Next, how about the distance of line 3, centroid of line 3, with respect to the X. So this is 6 meter plus this distance, which is actually 2R over so if we evaluate this one plus 6 meter, we get for L3, 8.546. And then the distance of 4 meter line, centroid of 4 meter line with respect to the X, this is 6 plus 4, we got 10. So we get now the product of LY. Multiply lines, uh, length of the lines with Y, so we have 4.275, this is 18, this is 53.694, and then we have 40, and then to get the total now, we have 115.969. Now going back to the equation, or the formula for centroid of a line for x bar, x bar is equals to summation of Lx divided by L. So if we substitute this one, summation of Lx, we have 21.391 divided by the total length of the line, 21.283. So x bar is equals to 1.005 meter. Okay, so you have that as your final answer for x bar. Next, we have for y bar. So from this formula, we have y bar is equals to summation of ly divided by l. So this is equals to ly 115.969 divided by the length 21.283. So y bar is equals to 5.449 meter. So we finally have the answer for y bar.